imagine having a Shabbat and feast day on a resort and have our own resort condominium where all the, the saints can come and just relax. At the Shabbat, we can just lounge around on the waterfront and just fellowship and, and drink some grape juice. And, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Now to him that's able, that's it, to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think, right? So the thing is that, oh, I'm getting off into another lesson, but this, this maybe this is the rainbow word section. But he says that he's able to do above all that we can ask or think according to what? The power that works in us. If you're not working, you shouldn't expect to see the results. We think Yah's word is like magic. It's going to automatically happen. <laughs> what was that, that verse we were talking about at the table? Everybody always quotes. The Bible says, let us not grow weary in well-doing, for we shall reap in due season. We faint. Now, hey, thank you, thank you. Hey, 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 hey. Miss the whole meat of that. The key to that verse is let us not grow weary in what? Doing. Because if you are doing, right, you're going to reap if you don't stop doing. That's what that's saying. But see, people live, look right past that. Oh, not about the doing, brother. We're not saved by words, we're saved by grace, right? If that's the case, then salvation ought to be automatic. You shouldn't have to make no confession to be saved. You should be able to be saved just because you was born into the world. <laughs> like Carlton Pearson. People are already saved according to Carlton Pearson. They just don't know it. Right? No, it's not automatic. You receive salvation by doing something. And salvation don't mean just being saved from hell. Right? Being saved from destruction, from from, man, this less this is a lesson on salvation right here. I, that's I'm giving about three lessons in, in the opening just talking, right? <laughs> Y'all wants us to prosper. Oh, that's another one, right? I would the doubt would prosper, right? And be in what is it, good health? As your soul prosper. Hmm. See right. See, we just pass right by the meat. We, if you ever read, when you read the Bible, you know what amazes me, right? And we're going to get to the lesson. What amazes me is when people say, I read the Bible through five times, ten times, right? It don't matter how many times you read the Bible through, because people read through stuff. <laughs> you can read through, read right through something, and not even, not even get the meaning of what you read. But you read it, though. I, I, I got to, I have to hurt somebody's feelings this morning. Your prosperity don't come and you giving money to me. Take your contribution gifts. But your prosperity comes in you applying the uh, principles of Torah, which that's why we're going to do this series on the Torah of life. Because people don't understand Torah. They don't comprehend Torah. What they comprehend is religion. And y'all didn't give us religion. He gave us instructions for life.